we heard some amazing stories of local resilience, local organising, and it really, I think that whole experience has given us a new reference point for what we can achieve when we work together in local communities and as a nation. Um, I love this quote from the beginning, when it was required, people ran from their silos, they stepped up, they focused on shared purpose and they got it done. So power was shared because it was right and the necessary thing to do. We also saw a slightly different and more organised response, which was local government, iwi hapu, community organisations of all different kinds and different groups in different places. Um, so those people with relationships closest to the ground who were out there looking after the people who might have otherwise not been able to, to manage. And they were best able to do that, to provide that appropriate timely response because they knew where the need was, they knew where the rough sleepers were, they knew who needed what in their communities and they made that happen. And again, it's about, I guess, circles of influence and relationships, but it's, it's also wrapping support around those people that are in the community who are sh demonstrating a, a, a desire to be, to lead parts of whatever's happening in the community and, and supporting them because yeah. In my experience, they're very few and far between. And um, everybody has a skill set that can contribute and grow your community and your hapu in a really powerful way. There's a real opportunity to take this into the, the local government sphere in particular and um, maybe change that paradigm around and say, this is what we've uncovered during this time. This is what community leadership looks like. Now let's see if we can get in and embed it in some of those local government systems as well. Yes, the PM and that leadership really helped us get through this because she did set the tone and Ashley. But, you know, I haven't seen, besides your work, I haven't seen serious reviews of what happened and what was good, mate. You know, I'm serious. So um, I think there are really simple messages in this report that those are the things we need to, you know, I don't say lobby, but you know what I mean? You need to talk to government about these things we know happened. How do we continue this?